Uh, your morning so tea is, is a bell or, bright. Bell or so, so, so. Um, it is, oh so lord, again, it is and really bright. Uh, today is, today, is I think it's Tuesday, today? Tuesday? Tuesday the 24th. And uh, I'm heading out to Vinny's in Radio Barragata, or Lower Barragata Heights, the bottom part of Barragata Heights, to get. Uh, I know Vinny's is what I forgot about Vinny's. Vinny's is one of those uh, places like Chucky's where you can get a lot of stuff. I hope there's still like a lot of stuff because I remember a decade ago going there and, and uh, it's just a lot of stuff. Stuff I've never even seen myself. So we'll see what it's like. So come along for the ride, peeps. And um, have a great day. See you. Yeah, see peeps, how bright that is. Regulations require that adjust to their bids. So really, the proper way to, to have done this is to withdraw. If they had to, if they had to make this last minute change, they should have withdrawn the bid. So yeah, there was um, there's definitely uh, problems with this. Autospot.com for more info. Headlines from the Pacific News Center are brought to you by ICE. Hey, students and teachers, start the school year right with 10% off any ICE events. The Pacific News Center this morning, Bill 11-36, or the restoration of power bill, was vetoed by Governor Lou Leon Guerrero back in March of this year. Stewart senators such as Chris Duenas and Tony Atta have expressed their distaste in the government. <laughs> about what's going on with the, with these uh, the mandates that we've oh no no they're not mandates we're, we're not restricting uh you know we're, we're, we're this not a, a vaccine mandate we're just restricting the movement of the unvaccinated I love doing this peeps just to kind of capture what, what was, was going you, on you want to go someplace uh, you really want to be vaccinated and you use this time this day or in history that, that so you were vaccinated. that's, the that's why I like to do the government the, yesterday there was a very different uh, press conference or at least a recording that was made last night the right. Nine o'clock or something. Uh, and establishment activities and organizers of organized contact sports may accept another part with regard to employees of uh, these covered businesses testing as opposed to vaccination or lose your job. Uh, it, it still feels like, uh, I don't know, you're kind of over the barrel on this. Uh, I don't think uh, I'm alone in thinking that way. It's possible that others might, including members of, uh, of the Chamber of uh, Commerce. Kathy Castro uh, is their president. Good morning, Kat. How you doing? Hey there, good morning. Good morning, day. traffic peeps. Much better than I uh, you know, the past couple of days, it's been a wild ride. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure it has been a real wild ride. Uh, you know, notwithstanding the tenor of the delivery, do you, do you think that the that the, uh, the governor's uh, consolation here is, is sufficient? Is that going to, to meet with the needs of uh, various members of the business community, uh, restaurant and, and bar owners in particular? Does this does this really change any of, uh, of the landscape from the last couple of days? Uh, not not particular. Unvaccinated. Uh, five. Wait, what's the second? We'll figure it out. So the car score is fifteen point two. Um. Yeah, and it's, like I said, it's going to be a continual race, so viruses can can um, continue to fight with. And uh, I think you know, human beings, although we think ourselves as, as the top of the food chain, um, we have nothing compared to viruses. They they outlive. Uh, if you, if you look at the time scale. Yeah, yeah, so got we, it. We have our limitations. We have our limitations. What did you call it? Biological? Uh, yeah, co-evolutionary co race. We're a co-evolutionary co race with perhaps uh, one of the longest living, uh, well, people don't even well, classify it as a living thing. But um, yeah, it's gonna be, um, Yeah, it's, it's not, uh, it's not in our favor. Morning, and Ruby did our best to have a meeting with the governor, what they were able to finally do um, sometime on Saturday morning. The testing line is still very long. Uh, although the, uh, you know, we wanted more, uh, this was... See, they've got Carline. Uh, late last night. The queue. I just, you know, like, every the hour. Or is that testing? What the new uh, PO was going to be like, mm -hmm. so, um... I was uh, a little disappointed, but uh, okay. I, I have to, you have to be positive, you have to think, hopefully, yeah. you just have to keep moving. I mean, if you, if you don't have that whole... You've got another executive order now that, uh, that that kind of walks back a little bit of what came out uh, that is in effect immediately, uh, and, and businesses are bewildered as to what what it is that we're going to be doing next. The Airbnb program, as far as
far as I'm concerned, has basically been aborted uh, by the, either one of these uh, these executive orders. Uh, with a release yesterday uh, calling for the governor's the latest EO to be rescinded, it was not, but it was refined. And I don't know if you guys got the memo, it came out at 9.30 uh, last night, but the governor's uh, executive order has been refined. And now uh, private sector workers who don't want to get vaccinated can avail of a weekly uh, test to get out of that. And then also the proof of vaccination status is no longer being required to dine in or go to the movies or go on the booth. Really? You just need to self-attest that you have at least received one shot of the vaccine. So they lowered the bar. Uh, totally unvaccinated though, you're still not welcome. See, I was. Are you still and, and now? We don't have to show our vaccine morning, cards. And, uh, Jason and to my colleague, Senator Ferris. Well, all that first being I'm glad I didn't take my picture yet. The issues of, and the concerns of those that are unvaccinated who, for one reason or another, can't get vaccinated because of medical uh, issues or their religious belief or just don't want to get vaccinated. You know, I mean... Yeah, you really can't force that on anyone. You and, really can't. Uh, ensure that those folks are also included you know i mean maybe a, a, I mean, a medium, you know a yes it's important but you still need okay. to have the freedom to do so here we are peeps denny's denny's mark denny's mark are not vaccinated. all right let's mask up oh you have my mask peeps uh, you're sitting on it <laughs> uh oh I know that looks nice like that, but sometimes it's going to be too much. On your face, it makes it look so... Alright, peeps. Here we go. I need my glasses. Peeps, we're gonna start over here. Look at this. Have an egg sandwich, three three fifty, uh, and food up there, spam and rice and rice and stuff. Uh, ice cream. Let's go to the hi. Sorry, let's go to the other side. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, this had hot dog over here. Is this some kind of rice? Oh yeah, steamed rice peeps. Oh look. Hold on. Oh, butchy butchy. You know, too busy filming. Oh, ham buns, hot dog, shrimp patties. Oh peeps, look at empanadas. Oh my god. Spicy chicken. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff. Oh, there's soup. Another soup. Oh, you know,